<clears throat> Alright guys, oh shit, alright guys, yo, how's it going? Um, I just want to have a talk about this, uh, I got uh, a set of books called Seven Soldiers of Victory, it's by Grant Morrison, um, and I've been tr trying to have a look online about, uh, about a reading order for it, because it's a little bit confusing, but I've found something, and we'll have a look and we'll see how this one works out. And um, yeah, we'll have a look at uh, we'll have a look at what I've found, and we'll see how this set works out. Um, so, oh, but by the way, this is a couple of weirder um, weirder is that a word? Grant Morrison books. Uh, this is Kill Your Boyfriend. This is a Vertigo book uh, from '95, I think. And then <clears throat> this one's even earlier. This is Saint Swithin's Day. Um, this is a good one. This came out. This is. The publisher's called Trident. Um, there was a, a magazine or a comic just called Trident, and I think there was five issues of that. And uh, Saint Swithin Day's in it in four parts. I think it's it's either one to four or two to five. I can't quite remember, but it's in there anyway. Uh, and that's it collected. It was re-released later on with a Philip Bond cover, and. Uh, but this is the original, this is the first pressing, printing, if you see what I mean. And the one in the middle is Near Myths number two, which is Grant Morrison's first published work. Uh, he also did the art in this one, in that one, which is quite interesting, so you might be into that. Uh, definitely Near Myths number two is worth picking up if you can find one. Um, obviously oversized, but definitely worth it if you're a Grant Morrison fan. So here we go, this is Seven Soldiers of Victory. Um, so what I've got here is what's in the first trade paperback, if you were to buy that. Uh, it starts off with an issue zero, called Seven Soldiers, and then there's an issue one, which is the last issue of the entire run, and then in between it is the Seven Soldiers. They each get four issues. They each get a four-issue miniseries, if you see what I mean. So anyway, this is the way the trades have it. Uh, another guy, I'd seen a guy said online that he just read them each person's four issues, one to four. As long as the zero and the one are at either side, then you're fine. But I'm going to try this way and see how it works. Uh, so this is Seven Soldiers Zero, obviously. Uh, Shining Knight issue one. Shining Knight issue two. Manhattan Guardian one and two. Zatanna one. Zatanna two. And then Clarion one. So that's what you get if you buy tra uh, trade number one. And then number two then is clarion number two, clarion number three, shining knight number three, and shining knight number four. So that's him done. Manhattan Guardian three, Manhattan Guardian four, Man uh, sorry, Zatanna number three. That's the second trade. Third trade has Mr. Miracle number one, Excuse me, Mr. Miracle number two, Satana number four, Clarion number four, Bulleteer number one, Bulleteer number two, and then Madman Frankenstein number one. And then last trade is Frankenstein two, Frankenstein three, Frankenstein four. So you actually read his in order. Uh, Mr. Miracle 3, Mr. Miracle 4, oh crap, oh well there's a spoiler, Bulleteer number 3, Bulleteer number 4, and then Seven Soldiers number 1, and that's a bit of a girthy one, I think that's maybe a double issue. So that's that, that's that. Uh, if anyone's read that and would have done it differently, please let me know. Uh, like I say, another guide said just to read all all their books is in sets of four, but I'm going to try it like this, as this is the way the trades would have you read it. So um, we'll have a look at that one. Uh, and yeah, I hope this was handy if anyone's got, because some of you guys might have some of these and not really know what to do with them. Um, I just luckily managed to get them all in one go. Uh, so I'm happy enough with that. Anyway guys, thanks for that, and we'll yeah, see you for the next one.